Would you believe that most people don't forage for wild edible plants because they're scared of eating something poisonous? It's really a shame because there's a way to forage for wild edible plants with 100% confidence. Hi there, my name's Craig Stewart. I've been a wilderness survival instructor and wild forager for over two decades. And I've been around the block a time or two when it comes to foraging for wild edible plants. I've discovered that there are really two keys to foraging with confidence. The first is to study only one wild plant for, I suggest, 30 days. Most people study a lot of different plants at the same time. For example, you're probably like me. When you first started, you bought a wild ID plant guide and you just flip through the pages. It's human nature to go from plant to plant to plant. And those guides are great, but the problem is you learn a lot of little facts about a lot of different plants. And it can be really overwhelming and confusing, especially if you're just starting out. So focus on one wild edible plant for 30 days straight. It will make a huge difference in your foraging game. Number two, Focus on what I call unique identifying features. You see, each wild edible plant, all plants for that matter, have their own unique set of identifying features that make that plant, that plant. When you focus on a list and photos of those unique identifying features and that plant matches all of those, you know with 100% certainty that the plant you're looking at is the plant you're studying. And so you can forage with 100% confidence. So, to illustrate these two points, guys, I wanna give you a free plant ID guide that I've written. It's four full color pages for one of my favorite wild edible plants, and it's called Japanese Knotweed. All you have to do is visit the link below. It'll take you to a website called Wild Edible Plant of the Month, and you just enter in your email address, and I'll send you an instant download, PDF download, to this free wild plant identification guide for Japanese knotweed. It'll make a great addition to your survival library. And when you request that guide, I'm not only just gonna send you that download, but I'm also gonna tell you a pretty humbling story about myself. You see, I haven't always been really good when it comes to foraging for wild edible plants. We all start somewhere, right? So before I kind of developed this system of 30 days and focusing on unique identifying features, I made the biggest foraging mistake of my life and it landed me in the hospital, actually. But what came out of that was the opportunity to share the biggest foraging lesson of my life and I need to share that with you. And I'm gonna share that with you in a story when you submit your email. I'm gonna send you that guide and then I'm gonna tell you that story about what happened exactly and what's the biggest lesson that I learned. Some really good solid information and it's all free. So just click the link below, submit your email, get your free guide and enjoy a pretty entertaining but pretty valuable story. Like I always say, remember, it's not if, but when.